What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. In today's video, we're not opening up just one, but two of the Volume 2 sets of Topps trading cards released during Star Wars Celebration 2023. Alrighty then guys, welcome to the unboxing and opening of Volume 2 of these awesome Premium Tops trading cards released exclusively at Star Wars Celebration 2023 last weekend. If you guys haven't checked out Volume 1, which we opened up on Thursday, there's a link to it now. We did get a couple of cool cards, nothing completely crazy but we certainly got some pretty cool parallel cards and now here we are with volume two and i can hear what you're saying why have you got two versions of volume two well let me tell you guys a little story. So when we first got to Star Wars Celebration literally on the Friday, the first booth that I entered was the Topps booth because it was literally right there as I walked in. And I'd seen these cards advertised before and I was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna go for these. Got to the booth, the, the lady explained a bit. She then said the price and I was like, ooh, I definitely wasn't expecting these to be that expensive. A hundred pounds per box, guys. But I was like, you know what, Celebrations, it's been, what, seven years since it last came here. It's probably gonna be another seven years since since it comes back to like when it comes back to the UK I mean even though we are going to try and go to Japan in 2025 and I was like screw it I'm going to buy them so I went in to buy all four sets they did volumes one which is the original trilogy volume two the prequel trilogy volume three the sequel trilogy volume four everything else after Floniverse etc etc so I went in paid my 400 pounds the guy gave me everything in a bag and then when I got home I realized he had given me two of the volume two sets and I was like ah I'm going to have to go back and change them. Before I did that, I went and talked to them to firstly say, look, this is what happened. Can I actually change them? And the guy was very, very cool. He said, yeah, no problem. And then I kind of asked, well, will I get the same cards? Well, like, I was trying to determine how many characters you can get. And I feel the guy did missell me a little bit, if I'm being honest, because he was like, well, it's a blind box, so you're definitely not going to get the same cards. But then I was like, well, hold on. There are only 10 characters in each box, so I will definitely get some duplicates. But yeah, in terms of parallel cards, like definitely not because they're numbered cards, right? So I was like, what should I do? Because I love the prequel trilogy. I didn't really love the sequel trilogy so much. Should I keep these two? Should I change one for the th like third volume? In the end, I just decided to keep the two volume twos because I was like, ah, you know, what if you hand back a box that has an ultra rare card in it? But I guess at the same time, what if then the volume three box that I would have got would have had an ultra rare card in it? It's one of those things, right? But anyway, guys, I am rambling. It's time to get into both of these Volume 2 sets and see what we can pull. And so if that wasn't obvious already, I don't have Volume 3, and the next one we'll open up will be Volume 4. But here we go, guys. That's literally it. If you were wondering, nothing else uh, for such a kind of elaborate sort of box. Nice design and everything, to be honest. Well, maybe a little bit plain on the back. But um, yeah, that's it. And you get 10 cards in this pack. Guaranteed two parallel numbered cards I think I got a yellow and a purple in the last pack would be awesome if we got something a little bit rarer here I'd love something Darth Maul related uh, if you guys saw uh, my t-shirt in the intro Darth Maul is my man I'm definitely a Maul mark now how did they do this before I think it was like that wasn't it let me just pull this Django Fett because I think that may be one of my parallel cards so I've put him at the back oh look at that guys straight off the bat a General Grievous this isn't one of the sketch cards even though it is like a sketch style design no numbers on it the sketch cards the rarest I believe one in ones like if you pull it no one else has pulled it but yeah we have a base set of General Grievous a base set there of Count Dooku played by the legendary late great Christopher Lee we have a base set of Mace Windu uh, played of course by the one and only Samuel L. Jackson he would be like my dream um, guest at a con to be honest I was hoping he might be at Star Wars Celebration but he wasn't he would have been easily the most expensive we have a base set there of Django Fett so we saw at the uh, the beginning like the back card was Django Fett so we definitely have a parallel of Django and it's going to be the one at the back real interesting to see which one we have so here's our first parallel guys it is a yellow parallel of Count Dooku the yellow parallels are out of 150 and if you guys can make that out we have number 37 that 
is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I would love to get something a little bit lower, right? If we, um, if the Jenga fit is a purple, it would be kind of exactly the same as what we pulled in the uh, the first uh, first volume, pardon me. So we have Jar Jar Binks there, base set, Qui-Gon, my man as well. Like, Maul was my favorite villain, Qui-Gon, my favorite, like, Jedi. Like, I just thought he was the best Jedi. So that's cool. I was very happy to see him back in Obi-Wan. We have, ah, we have Maul as well. There he is, guys. Very, very cool. Base set Maul. Imagine you got the red Maul. Would be absolutely awesome. I think the red ones off the top of my head. I should have actually looked it up. I'm pretty sure the reds are, are uh, out of five. And that would be absolutely amazing if you got a parallel red Maul. So I'm pretty sure this may be the last card. Oh, ah, it's a clone trooper. Pardon me. So I actually thought it was Django. Hold on, have we only got up? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was the last card, guys. So, well, as you saw, it's a, uh, it is a purple parallel. But yeah, we have the clone trooper here. I honestly thought that was the last card. And there it is, purple parallel of Django Fett, which as you guys can make out there, the purple parallels are out of 299. And we have number 50, wait, is that 57? It is indeed. Wait, what was our... Was so Dooku also 57 or was he 47? I can't now remember. He, oh, he was 37. So we got yellow Dooku 37 out of 150. And we got purple parallel Django Fett 57 out of 299. Let's see what we get in the second box. Here we go then, guys. So our parallel card here is a General Grievous. That might be quite cool. I'm going to do this off camera so we don't actually see that. So here we go then. Well, that's pretty cool that we got Anakin because we didn't get him in the first box. Base set Anakin. We have base set uh, General Grievous once again. A base set of Count Dooku once again. We have, oh, it's another parallel. Hold on guys, what? No, no, no way. Number one, number one out of 99. Blue parallel Django Fett. It's definitely number one. It is, I had to bring it up to my own eyes to double check. How cool is that? Getting a number one card. No one else in the world, if these sets are legit, should have this card. Oh, that's amazing. Number one out of 99 blue parallel Django Fett. Oh, well, I need to catch my breath. I, I've never received like any piece count collectible. Never, ever received a number one. And we have it right there, guys. Number one out of 99 and the, the blue goes so well with the rest of his helmet ah oh, that's amazing I, I guess everything else unless that grievous at the end is any better the rest of these are just probably like i won't even care right we've got a padme here which is also cool because we didn't have her in the uh in the first box although you know what the design looks a bit weird i have to say because um natalie portman she's kind of been my celebrity crush for God knows how long. Jar Jar Binks base set, Qui-Gon base set, Darth Maul base set, Clone Trooper base set, and so we have a Grievous. Oh, somehow turned it the wrong way around again. So it's just a purple, which, you know, doesn't bother me too much. 299, was it 176? Ah, oh, but I can't complain, guys. Number one out of 99, Blue Parallel Django Fett. And so then to quickly recap, guys, we actually got one of every character with these two boxes. I think we were only missing Leia from the original trilogy box. The numbers actually carry on from those first 10. So the Clone Trooper, the first one of Volume 2, is number 11. As I said before, you get a little bit of information about the character, the Star Wars Celebration logo, Star Wars Galaxy, and then like a bit of the portrait. I don't think I mentioned last time, the artist name is actually present down there as well so yeah we have this clone trooper is number 11 maul is number 12 qui-gon number 13 jar jar number 14 padme is number 15 Django 16 mace windu 17 count dooku 18 grievous is 19 and Anakin is number 20. Very weird. No Obi-Wan in these 10 cards. But I know he does feature in the fourth set from his own TV series. But yeah, guys, the four like hitters we got then... We did get a purple parallel General Grievous. Very, very cool. Number 176 
out of 299. We also got a purple parallel Django fit here. Again, very, very cool. Number 57 out of 299. We got a yellow parallel Count Dooku. Again, really awesome. These are out of 150 and this is number 37 out of 150. But the coolest, most epic, unbelievable thing, guys. I'm so happy that I like kept the two volume two boxes because who's to say I would not have given away this box where I got number one, blue parallel, number one out of 99 Django Fit. Look at that, guys. So, so cool. Never got a number one, like a number collectible ever in my life. I think the, um, the C-3PO was actually number four. That was one of the lowest numbers I've had. I got like a yellow C-3PO again, which really matches the color of the character like the blue one does here with Django Fett. But he was number four out of 150. This is number one out of 99. Lower numbers, especially number ones, and then higher numbers, the most sought after with any number collectible. But yeah, so, so happy with that. I feel it really does vindicate my decision. Even though who's to say with the volume three box, I could have got a one, one sketch or something like that. I guess we'll never know, but I'm very, very happy with this, guys. But that is going to do it for today's video. So first and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up and drop some comments below. If you guys picked up any of these sets, particularly volume two, which parallel cards did you pull? And as I said earlier, guys, I didn't grab volume three of the sets, which is the sequel trilogy. So the next one we're going to be opening up is volume four coming later this week, probably either Thursday or Friday. So make sure you stay tuned for that. What is the easiest way to stay tuned, you ask? It's very simple. Subscribe, hit click, smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on that or any other future content. Guys, thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds.